Shalom, beloved. To keep waking up early in the morning, long before the sun rises. Every day, keep waking up. Some of you are wondering why. It even feels as though you're waking up against your will. Something is waking you up, opening your eyes. Why? Book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 35. And in the morning, rising up a great while before dawn, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. Sure. Again, Book of Mark, verse chapter 1, verse 35. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. In the morning, when you wake up, long before dawn, find the solitary. Find that solitary place and pray. The Spirit of the Most High is leading you humbly unto Himself to set your day correctly. As Yeshua showed you, in the morning, a great while before dawn, find the solitary place and pray. I wake up, and sometimes it's like something opening my eyes. It's not me waking up, I can feel there's a difference. Something opens your eyes, and you look, it was so early, it isn't even dawn yet. And I look, I find a solitary place. And then, Be blessed, beloved. The Spirit of the Most High God is leading you home, bringing you back to Him, and setting your day. It's time to commune with the Most High. It's time to praise Him and pray. And if you don't know what to say, speak in tongues, beloved. May the Spirit guide. We will begin this day, although I was up a while ago, long before dawn ever crept over that window. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Commune with him. Praise him. Speak in tongues quietly, praying. Spirit will guide you. And that conversation will be between you and God, edifying your soul. Shalom, beloved.